LGBTQ. I'm Billy Zapka, I play Johnny Lawrence. I'm Gianni DiCenzo, I play Dimitri. Sholom Aniduena, I'm Miguel Diaz. Tanner Buchanan, Robbie King. I'm Peyton Liss, I play Tori Nichols. Ralph Macchio, Daniel LaRusso. I'm Jacob Scott Thomas Bertrand, I play Eli Moskowitz slash The Hawk. Mary the Madeline Hawk. Mauser, and I play Samantha LaRusso. And these, these are the biggest, biggest moments of Cobra Kai. The Daniel versus Johnny fight. I remember I, I said to Billy at one point, I said, I, I wonder what this would go for on pay-per-view. <laughs> oh, you know, just because we hear about it all the time on the streets over the years before this show, and certainly once the show is going on, when's the rematch? I recall talking about, okay, so how can we do this and it, it be honest to where these guys are now? Like, I'm not us trying to do the teenage version like sort of fight as as men that have been through this that are this age and and we sort of found that in the choreography and and we had a little bit of time which often on the show we don't in the the fight sequences we did have enough time to kind of work it and 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 find all the emotional beats and that's what made it not just a rematch it was more about we're both fighting for our reliefs for what's best for the kids i want what's best for them what's best for them is miyagi do so neither guy was wrong, and then it ends in the perfect draw where nothing gets settled. Yeah, the the double spinning back yeah, yeah, so yeah. we both each other out. <laughs> yeah, so. Which was the only way that it could have ended, you know? I mean, it should have been. It's I a good won. fight. <laughs> I, I, I like that fight a lot, and I like the music in that fight and the way it's shot. It was, it, it's, yeah. uh, it's a good one. The difference really, I think, is the time. When we did The Karate Kid, we had months and months of preparation for that fight. It was a ballet. We knew we could have done that blindfolded. Literally. Yeah, we never, we, we barely, never touched we always other. joke now. Like, yeah, now we actually We're like, contact. why do we have all these bruises back in the day we didn't? Because we so back in the day we had the time. time there that it was we, just, everything was synchronized to perfection. It was a tango. Yeah. Now it's just like, we just learned the thing. And we, you know, you, you, you don't have it in your body yet, but you still have to shoot it. Yeah, and it was something that I think that the writers felt like the fans were waiting to see happen and they wanted to see happen and um, it was the right place for it and the right result. And yeah. it drove the story forward, which is what all the fights are supposed to do. Yep. Is move the plot forward, not just fight for a fight. I will say for any of the fans sitting at home being like, man, what it would have been like to stand there and watch Daniel Russo so cool. and Johnny Lawrence fight. <laughs> sure, it was freezing, but Sholo and I got to be on the mat to like be the referees. And that was probably like the pinch me moment like that I will be telling my grandkids about. The, the school, school fight! And the balcony kick. How we get to this, well, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hear the Whoa. challenge in your tone is stainless. Yeah, how did it start? What, what started it? So what started it was, um, so anyway, and then <laughs> don't drink before, don't drink, kids. That, none of this would have happened. You kissed Miguel. I, I. That was my first time getting to fight with Peyton, both of us. I think that's were your first time fighting on camera or no? Yeah, my first time fighting on camera for sure. And, and the first time I remember hearing about Samantha, Mary's character, was from Miguel. And I think there was instant jealousy mm -hmm. about Sam. But yeah, I mean, she Sam accuses Tori of robbing her mom at the country club. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> she spoke about stealing like Five minutes before she, before something goes missing, she's like, but "I she steal." Did. But look, yes, Sam, Sam was a little hot-headed. She should have, she should have taken her time. I, I see that now with age and maturity. Damn, we're getting to the root <laughs> of the problem. The water is like where the scary stuff happens. The you water, can't mess anything the up. The water was really fun. We yeah, there was a lot of a lot of like rehearsals of it. There was a lot of 
what felt like a lot of takes, but realistically, like six takes is not many to get of something yeah. that intricate. Mm -hmm. um, but we all like there was no because there were no cut points and because it wasn't linear, like it didn't move in one direction. We nobody could take a break, so it wasn't yeah. like you got to do your part and then quit and wait until <laughs> the end of the take and start over. Like everybody was fighting in the background of everybody else's fight. So even though the camera wasn't on you anymore, you had to keep moving and keep fighting and making it look like you were involved and alive the entire time. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with where Miguel is now. I, I, think, think I think he had, he had to get his come up in a little bit. For Miguel, karate is such a central core of who he was and I think having that aspect taken away there was a big learning curve and getting to ease back into things was something different to explore in the character something that i definitely didn't think going into the first season of the show was going to happen but send him to the hospital you were in a hospital <laughs> right. it was a it was a maybe not the wisest decision in the moment but in the long term showing mercy right. pays off because it comes around you could have not had mercy. I mean, you were going to I wish to get, you knew a pressure point think, or something like that. <laughs> right. No, but showing mercy was the right move. And in the tournament, you didn't show mercy. And you won the title, which won the title, but it's like, is Cobra Kai good or is it bad? Like, you won, but through a dark way. You won the and battle, you lost the Yeah, battle. that's why, you know, Johnny's not so happy at the end of that season and drinks some scotch, and then in comes Crease, who's the root of it all. So you made the right choice. I'm proud of you for having shown mercy. And in the long run, look, you know? Look at what you did to me. Hog breaks Dimitri's arm. No, 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 it's fine. I'll go. I'll go. Hog, oh, finish him. Oh, you lost him. Oh, damn it. Dude, he breaks my arm. I mean, he shatters it. Like, these guys encourage, well, no, just you, actually, of this whole group encourages oh, him. <laughs> and there's no it. discussion yeah, between our really characters. <laughs> There's do like, it, do the roar. <laughs> we do not talk about that. I know, I just get so angry that I, I black out. I don't remember yeah. any of it. I just forgive you out of fear that you're going to do it again. Maybe. I really I don't think know. you don't know who he is. <laughs> yeah. I really think that you don't even recognize that he's the kid who got his arm broken. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just like, violence? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just know me as like Darwin something. <laughs> Some random name. Yeah, man. I mean, this is the lowest point for the binary bros, I think. Um, yeah, you want to talk about how violent you are? It's probably the most powerful hawk has ever been. No, at this point. I mean, I mean, I have twigs for arms. That's, that's true. Yeah, it's not that tough. Was it kind of funny, <laughs> fake breaking your arm, like screaming on the ground? You're like, oh, <laughs> dude, dude, I, I will like, say it's on great. the day, no, on the good day great. when I went to break <laughs> it, and the way Gianni screamed, I was like, <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we joke about it now. Pretty disturbing. But yeah, it was that was rough. Larusso house fight. No mercy. Tori is bringing um, all of the Cobra Kai's to the LaRusso house. And the captain. In matching outfits? <laughs> <laughs> In color coordinated outfits. <laughs> all Cobra Kai color coordinated. And maybe some snake skin. It was a group chat. And she was like, not that. Wear the other shirt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you're not wearing black, don't show up. <laughs> yeah. But that was, that was never supposed to be the LaRusso house, little, little oh, yeah. uh, oh, behind the scenes. Really? We had five, we had to finish up shooting that season. And the forecast was for five straight days of rain. That was supposed to be the Miyagi backyard. Yeah. And Ooh. this was a last minute, what are we gonna do? We can't be shooting this in the pouring rain and, and the, in the uh, sort of terrain of that backyard. And they came up with, uh, you know, tossing a kid through the kitchen window. That would yeah. have looked sick either. though, if it was in the pouring rain. No, it's way yeah. better in the house. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I taking can't, weapons off the Miyagi it, dough wall and oh, breaking Miyagi's great. picture was probably the I love that it yeah, right, invaded right. their space. I mean, just yeah, brought, no, they just brought like the you. battle right to your home. And yeah. I don't like to talk about Jacob so much, but that one kick that you did was super sick. That one where you're flying through and you do a double kick oh, on the Oh, you take them both down, the binary yeah. brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's got that twist where he's like, okay, I'm, I broke his arm, but now I'm going to save his life. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite part of all that was the behind the scenes of making the Warner work involved Shola and Joe, who were fighting in the background of the scene, picking up and moving the coffee table out of the way for the camera crew to get through, then moving the coffee table back, setting it down, and then resuming their fight in the midst of the rest of the thing happening. They had to move the coffee table and stand it up on its side, and they're standing there like waiting for the second to be like, 
bring it in, set back. it down, and then immediately go oh, back to function. It's like, yeah. it's like theater ensemble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got I like how that whole fight happened and everyone visibly gets hit, but you are yeah, just you like, are bloody. <laughs> like messed up. And then we had the really bloody uh, kiss because Shola was supposed oh. to have a bloody nose, and they were like, you guys are going to have this really romantic kiss at the end of it. And we were like, Okay, and then we went and did the kissing, and as soon as we did, I like turned away, oh. and my mouth was just covered in blood. And they were like, "So that's never being used." Oh. <laughs> the, the first All Valley Tournament. What do you think you're doing? Coaching my student. Somebody needs to be there for him. You think this is funny? Do you see me laughing? You're gonna regret this when it's over. Yeah, right. Like this will ever be over. What was weirder than reading it was actually walking onto the set, I yeah. think, the first time and seeing the big poster of Daniel Lewis doing the crane kick. There was no poster of Johnny Lawrence taking the crane kick, which I'm still <laughs> upset about. But the, the, just the walking into that with the, with the it, was, it was so surreal. It was yeah. just really like a flashback in time. It really was. And then all that, all that stuff felt very Karate Kid in the scope of that first season, you know, being being there on the sidelines, which I was thankful for, for the most part, uh, till I got, you know, back in, in shape. Um, it was, yeah, it was surreal is the word, you know, because it's, it nostalgic is another word that's, that's massive that you, we feel, Billy and I, and, and uh, a lot of the OG original characters from the movies feel uh, all the time. I, I wasn't expecting to fight at all during the first season, to be oh, honest. Oh, come on! What? I really wasn't. You're a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we established, like, Robbie the bad boy, like, in the first, like, couple of episodes, and yeah. you're, like, you're, like, flannel shirts it's and, like, long dad. hair, your rings on and everything, <laughs> and then after that, you're just, like, you're like, you're fine. You're not that bad of a guy. You're, like, <laughs> I'm just a skater all boy at that point. <laughs> yeah. You were headed towards juvie until you bumped into your old dad again. He did go to juvie. I know. <laughs> I think the only rememberable moment is just you jumping up onto the mat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fire. Yeah, that's that's my little that's my little anime added. Yeah, <laughs> Hawk is Hawk is sick. You know, I got to take my shirt off for the first time on camera. <laughs> That was, that was really fun. I was super nervous for that on the day. <laughs> yeah, I got to do a lot of fighting, you know. I got to elbow someone in the face. I got to injure Robbie. You know, really, I think I paved the way for Miguel to win. The season one tournament, I remember being like so excited to just, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna like sit and watch people do a bunch of karate. This is gonna be awesome, which is basically what I got to do. Plus, I got to watch Ralph Macchio teach Shola Madibanya how to do a crane kick. That's right. Well, Shola held a cup of hot chocolate, I think, in his That's hand. That's right. Remember <laughs> that? Trying to do That's the crane right. kick. When Johnny finds out that he's back at the dojo and Johnny comes and kicks the door in and finds that Kreese is taking over. Or he actually already took it over. Now what is it? Did he take it over? That's gotta be the title. <laughs> anyway, she's just looking for you to tee up the story. Yeah. yeah, so Johnny's coming in and seeing seeing his son under the spell of John Kreese, which just sets him off, and Kreese tries to I'll lure him it. in one last time. <laughs> well, before before it's Daniel and Johnny fighting Kreese, it's Johnny fighting Kreese, and then Daniel saves his life because Kreese is about to kill him again. I only have one thing to say. One thing to say. I was I shot a video of. <laughs> of me showing Ralph being my hero, coming in and standing over and oh. That's when you go to the, the glass with Priest, Exactly, right? exactly. Yeah, that was but I know, but I only have one thing to say. Just one thing. Johnny and Daniel fight John <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that what you wanted me to say? <laughs> this isn't how I want this to end. You sent them to my house? You came after my daughter? You wanted her to fight, you son of a bitch. Now you got one. He comes in to save Johnny Lawrence, and you begin, you start to begin to see these two guys that are quite different, but often the same, um, coming together. And I thought that was a yeah, you know a strong. I had that great uh, you know that he's choking him out, which is a sort of uh, you know a replay on him choking him out in the beginning of Karate Kid Part Two, and and so it was a kind of them coming together for the first time to, uh, to uh, join forces at the end of season three. You can't trust him. And I can trust you. Robbie, please listen to me. You know, all those years you weren't there, I blame myself. Since the crease is right, I can't be my own worst enemy. But you can be. Well, I'm seeing Robbie go down the road that led Johnny into the darkness and is, he's desperate to, to save his son from that, but Robbie doesn't, Robbie doesn't see it yet. And so Johnny goes crazy on Crease and 
Then in comes Daniel and I was trying to say as while we were filming that I got my little phone out because as I'm on the ground being choked out, I see Daniel LaRusso's feet. And it's really surreal as Johnny Lawrence to be on the ground and see in character J Daniel LaRusso coming to, to help me out. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of really like, like honest moment where mm -hmm. I was like, this is kind of cool, you know? And, and then they went through the plate glass window together and uh, you know, it was the first time Johnny and Daniel are the enemy of my enemy is my friend. It was mm -hmm. like, there was like a moment of bridge slowly coming together. That was the first turning point, I think, for that. Listen, when Kreese came back, I remember reading the script and, and, and the way he took over the dojo. And I, we didn't know that was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. And at that point, the show was built on, here's the new Cobra Kai and it's moving forward. So when I read that Kreese is actually literally gonna take over <laughs> Cobra Kai, I was like, I had a real strong feeling about that. Like, wait, what? No, this can't happen. It was like in character feeling that way. Um, and then what's gonna happen next, which is, you know, the genius Eagle Fang Karate, the dojo that saves us all. Shit. My dad threw me into a locker. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it was super cool, but to be honest, it's, it is true. My dad threw me into a, a locker. I didn't Wait, I didn't throw you into a locker. <laughs> you came charging at me like a bull in a china shop, and I tried not to hit you and used your own power against you. <laughs> This wonderful sidestep swap move, <laughs> and you fell into the locker. If it was a pillow, it would have been a pillow. I mean, <laughs> yes, but, but I didn't throw you to a locker. It was pretty incredible, but for, to be honest, a lot of it I, I had to be knocked out. Unconscious. So I, so I didn't actually get to see any of it until it was on screen. So I got. Tanner's like. like I know. I, there was a couple of times that I had to like lay there and kind of keep my eyes open a little bit because I wanted to watch, but I didn't get to experience like any of it. <laughs> Did you check on your son after you threw him into a locker? That's yes. Oh, okay. Terry Silver versus Daniel Larusso. This guy wants to break, humiliate you, ah! dump you into the ground. Ah! And what are you gonna do about it? Oh, This was a big, uh, this is season five, another episode five, which is always kind of like our mid-season finale. It was fun for me because Daniel LaRusso was going down this kind of rabbit hole of like his wife had to took off with the kids and he's every, he's, he's the only one who knows who Terry Silver is. So he looks like the crazy person and he's drinking scotch for <laughs> breakfast and <laughs> Chosen comes in to try to, you know, to point him back straight and and uh and then he's off his off his axis and terry silver just you know psych warfare just manipulates him into a situation because he's uh russo's operating from anger he's operating from knee jerk instead of balance you know he's lost all his kind of centered miyagi-ness and uh and fighting uh, Thomas Ian Griffith, who's a true martial artist. Um, I play one on TV. And then he's six foot, what? Six, five, whatever. Six, six. He's like fighting he's a, seven, a, like a buff prey mantis. <laughs> <laughs> he's 12. You know? yeah. And so he, fortunately, his control is spectacular and he didn't, you know, ever hit me really. But it was, um, <laughs> it was, it was an exciting fight. And, um, and it left Daniel in a really tough place. I mean, it's disturbing to see this sort of protagonist of this original movie series now be, you know, just pummeled to the un unconsciousness, you know? So I'm always punching up at six foot five, you know? <laughs> I can only look so cool. <laughs> he just had to put his hand on my head. And I would have been like, <laughs> but I, but I, got a few, I got a few good ones in there. I got a few, a few good ones. It was, a, it was a good fight. You know, you have to hit bottom to bounce back up. And this was clearly bottom. And uh, it's also at the point of that season when all the characters, uh, you know, Johnny and Chosen and, and Robbie, you know, Sam, obviously she's always has dad's back. But, you know, um, they're really strong, strong elements where all of Miyagi-Do comes together to say, yes, you were right, this guy is bad, and we have your back. Thanks, Thanks to you! Be sure to watch season six of Cobra Kai, now on Woo. Netflix. <laughs> 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 <laughs>